back to Dotting Around Singapore! This week, I am absolutely clueless on where we are going. This guy decided to bring us out on a joyride. So what's new, you know? So, you know that I'm a quite avid collector of Tommy cars. Nerd, nerd! Yeah, whatever, of Tommy cars and little 164 scale die cast cars. I mean, I have a couple in, my, in the office at my desk. Yeah. So, uh... Every time I buy one, I brag to them about it. But today, it's something a little different. We are going to visit Dream Customs and they are, shall I say, purveyors of die-cast miniatures like dioramas and they have little mouse pads with car park patterns printed on them. So you can park your little die-cast car like this. You can park it on the mouse pad and pretend, you, oh and pretend you're doing a car shoot. Oh yeah, this is my Subaru. This is the first of my die-cast cars. And Today, well, you know where we're driving today, Kim. We're in the Suzuki Swift. Now, this is a Swift Sport. It's not the actual car that we're driving. We're driving the 1.2 litre mild hybrid, which doesn't have a manual, but it's still quite a fun car to chuck hey, about. Hey, you want to know about another Swift in a car? Rust Swift? A getaway car? Subaru? Rust Swift? Like the SG Moto Show? You mean Taylor Swift? In the same way that you and I am a huge fan, are a huge fan of the Suzuki Swift. I guess you could also say that we are both Swifties. We are not the same. I mean, it's really cool. You have these little car parks that are these. Oh my god, there's a bus interchange. You get a bus interchange car park, you get like mini boxes so you can make a little diorama of a garage. Wait, if they make roads and stuff, can you like ra race on them with mini remote control cars? Like 164 scale? I guess. Mm, technically, but it's a mouse pad. But yeah, that's a cool concept, maybe you can learn how to park. Using Ooh, wait! Can we make it stop at the office so that I can get my remote control car? Your remote control car? Yeah, 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 yeah. Should yeah. I bring mine? Yeah, 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 let's do it. Franken mouse return. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Just <laughs> go. Yeah. So we're here with one of the founders of Dream Customs, Andy, it's very nice to meet you. Hi. And as you can see by this very elaborately laid out table, these cars are his, but what matters the most is these little pads here. So could you tell us how you got started designing and creating these? Actually, I'm a graphic de designer myself. Mm -hmm. So one day when I got bored and I started to take photos of my collection, and uh, being a designer, I tried to do a road out of uh, A4 paper. When my partner, which is my brother, uh -huh. look, uh, saw the paper and he, th he thought that why can't we turn this into a business? So what are the materials that we can source for to make the road into a product itself? Mm. So we came across with uh, mouse pads. Suitable for gaming, work and also display. So we went ahead to do with it and we started out with a small Singapore car park and it went very viral and popular among collectors. That looks like Japan. This is a Topayo car park. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, and this is City Highway. <laughs> Specifically. Yeah. We actually have a name for every product. Oh wow. Yeah. So that we know which is which. This is the Kalang Kapak and this is uh, like a general Singapore street. Is that outside my house? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it looks yes, general. I recognize it. Yes, this is the Bastille. one outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> Started off by taking photos of your collection. Mm. How big exactly is your collection? Do you have a number? Maybe around 500 to 1000. I can't really count. Does it include like all of the ones here? Uh, not including this. Not including these. Yeah. Uh, uh, do these belong to you as well? These are these are like displays for for the conventions and uh, road shows. See, that's a big number. Jake, can you compete with that? Five hundred to like a thousand. I have like forty Tomicas and three Tomic words, which are like some like some of these you see with the like, acrylic boxes. But this is another level. Okay, we have the pets here, but then I also notice like these kind of like garages. Do yep. you guys, you, and I see the Dream Customs name, so you guys make mm. these as well? Yes, yes. That's our Hako series, mm -hmm. which is uh, actually a light box dedicated to display the cars and the mat. So we have a uh, Hako Omori, uh -huh. which is the bigger one uh -huh. for 1 to 18 scale. And you have the uh, Henshin Hako, which means that it, you, can the, you can change the mat itself. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's dedicated oh. for the small mats. 
and then we have a uh, Hako 2.0, yeah. which is an improved version of the first one. Uh, it comes with a magnetic door and a uh, USB light. Okay, so out of your collection of uh, like 500 to 1000, which is already a mm. lot, do you have a favorite, like, ultimate favorite model here? The ultimate favorite model is at home actually. <gasps> Uh, it's actually a uh, Tarmac Works Heist. It's a van. So online, right? There's uh. a photo of it and a video of it uh -huh. drifting. Details on Tarmac Works models are really, really, yes. really intricate. Like, it's amazing what they can do with a 164 and you can even see the brake calipers inside. Yeah. So I'm just geeking out here because this is like <laughs> my childhood, you know? You know, those car pets you had as a kid, right? They can put those cars in it and the driver. <laughs> Like, very sheltered childhood. Like so this carpet here. I was reading. <laughs> Were you reading? I, well, I really was. I didn't play with toys. So now I'm making up for lost time, as you can tell. Do you know how long does it take for you to come up with a new, a new design? Yeah. Or what inspires you to come up with something new? It just comes uh, like the, the usual designer thing. Straight away draft out the layout first. Uh, I will start with a car in my hand, and then I will measure the size of the parking lot, the road size, the width, and I will draft out the layout. Without the details first, then slowly I will put in the details. Do you ever like drive along like maybe the ECP and see the car? Yeah. Park, like, hey, that yep. looks pretty good. Let me yeah, because the ECP is very nice with all definitely. the like, flowers. Especially and car parks also, like the top IO one. So I usually go to Google Earth and I zoom in all the way to look at the details. So those that are not clear, right, I would uh, design and put in the details. So, like, what has been your ultimate favorite custom design that has come true from a customer here? Uh, I think this is the one. This one. This is the one that. Uh, most of the locals like really the car parks. Yeah. So whenever we have any restock, right, mm. uh, and we bring it bring it to the roadshow, uh -huh. it's definitely cleared up until we are out of stock. And we also have have it on Shopee. Oh. It's always the best yeah, selling piece. We did make a little stop back to the office to bring our own little remote control cars. Okay. Would it be possible to try them out? On Feel this? free to try. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is a design of Jay's own making. Um, he took the same remote control car and stuck a toy mouse on top. <laughs> the eyes used to light up. The eyes did used to light up. That's it's yeah. even a little spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> there is a little spoiler. Actually, yeah, let's test our parking skills. I mean, not fair that you're, you have a normal car. <laughs> I think this is a fail, immediate failure yeah, immediate in fail. TP. You know what? I have this in my office uh -huh. and I display some of my favorite cars there. There you go. So you can work and look at your favorite cars at the same time. That's see? the idea of our product also. Yeah. Oh, for, for, for <laughs> yeah, see, actually, I was looking at the car park one and I was like, hmm, yeah. I should get one to display mine. But then again, mine, uh, the, I think I only have like one that is this size. No, all of yours are. Oh no, three. Three or four, but so then we always like, start from there. Yeah, but then they're all in their packaging. I still haven't taken them out, so I'm one of those collectors, you know. Now it's really a mouse pet. Hey. Back <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to the mats, did you like ever face any I don't know difficulties in getting it out there, getting it started? One of the issues we had is uh, you know Lazada in Singapore, they tend to clone your your listings from other elsewhere. Yeah. So our mats actually got cloned the listings and. Uh, one of our retailers came to us and tell us that hey, I found your uh, mats being sold lower price than uh, us and you. So we tend to, we, we look into the matter mm. and he already ordered one from them mm -hmm. to, to see what they have to offer. Mm -hmm. So in the end, what came was a even tiny, uh, thinner piece of mouse pad. Uh -huh. I think they, they, they cloned it or what, right. they photocopied it or what, uh, with a, with a not not so good material. Yeah. Uh, and then we, we tried to order one ourselves also. Uh -huh. And what came was hilarious. It was a Christmas hat. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a scam from my seller and his uh -huh. his seller was a clone. Oh. So now we have came up with a official license card uh -huh. that is tagged to our packaging and he has this authenticity sticker behind with our logo on it. Mm. So this is a one and only from us. So once you receive a product or you buy a product from a retailer of us, yeah. of ours, and you see this, it yeah. means that it's from us, yes. not elsewhere, the not copied, not cloned. Product. So this is to uh, protect us yeah. and our customers. And those scammers won't be able to replicate that, will they? No. All right. This is one and only. Thank God. <laughs> I can't replicate the printing because this is really, really, really intricate. Yeah. Actually, I have another, like, one more question. Like, yeah. Uh, do you, I'm assuming you drive in real life, right? Yes. What do you drive? And then, like, what's your dream, like? 
money is no problem. Ultimate dream car. I drive the uh, Nissan NV200. It used to be a highest, but <laughs> for in a car form, it is definitely a GTR. Actually, I like R32. Around the same year as me. Yeah, I was born in 92. Yes, black one. That was very insightful. Insightful and very, very Inspiring? Intoxicating. Oh, I, was it also inspiring for you? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's quite nice to see how he started from the ground up and turned yeah. this basically a hobby into an actual business that is doing very, very well. I mean, they have a store on their website which you can visit if you want to buy something. Dreamquestions.com? Yeah. Dot co, dot co, sorry. If you're a Singapore buyer, they do have a Shopee online space. Yeah. So, Delivery fees will be cheaper, that's what he told us. For locals. And also, you can check out their creations on their Instagram at dream.customs. And they also do collaborate with a lot of other of these die car sellers, like Let's Play. Being one of them, the one that we both frequent, yeah, that's where everybody starts collecting yeah. die cars. Honestly, I think tomorrow you're going to find us at Let's Play. So that's not a good sign for our wallets. Yeah. But, you know, that has been our second episode of Darting Around Singapore. Join us again next time for when we venture to God knows where. I'm Kim. I'm Jay. See you next time.